Hey guys, Luna here, and welcome back to Death and Taxes. Let's just get right back into it with our second run now, shall we? Three plants, okay. Um, probably live... Probably die. Maybe live. So these two are die. I'll have to decide which one of these has to go. Certainly in a terrible place, but I'm trying my best. Psst. How are the others? The ones you haven't taken yet? They keep doing odd self destructive things. They should definitely slow down. Otherwise, the phrase plenty of fish in the sea will age like milk left out into the sun. The stench of poisonous rot slowly creeps into the air. A warning to heed. Psst! Hey, watch your step! The world is crumbling under your feet! You'll soon be the king of dust and rubble. Uh, what, why? Money is not important. Neither is education, culture. Welfare is meaningless. You're proving it to them the hard way. Scarcity creeps ever closer. That is the kingdom you rule. Think of it as a warning. What? More bubbles? All alone, Reaper. Power at your fingertips. It's electrifying. This is only the first time I had three On your own. You know why? Because they're setting you up. Because this is three bubbles back to back to back. Why would they do that? Why indeed. Because you'll never be good enough. You don't have what it takes to succeed. You're a void. Yeah, sure. Being realistic of you. Only got yourself to blame, mate. It's never us. Something's not right. You can feel it in your bones. Be seeing you. That was the last of the bubbles. Hello, my precious kitty. You're just so cute and fluffy. Slowly, the cat turns his, her head towards you, her eyes blazing with annoyance. <coughs> Meow, she mutters, then places a paw on some dark meats to the table. The cat refuses. <laughs> Se sequence of contented meows. She then curls back into the barn, closes her eyes. Well, this was useful. The cat says, are you blinking the pursuit signal process? <coughs> yeah, she declares as you make your way out the door. Got our cash. Check out on the quartermaster. Friend, your visit's like the sun. Regular. And warms the room. And today. And back off to work. Two humans, okay. You can certainly do that. Hairdresser. See, they they got they occasionally gossip. Uh, thinking Sims. No, I like you, MG. Although amazingly great for Banser, secret 
Secretly orchestrated snap tendons cracked rain kills for their rivals. This ensure they get ahead in the game. Parents from home when they're 16 because their parents are scared and confused about their Oh, jeez. Well, I don't like how you're blowing up your rivals. <laughs> uh, raking them so hard, handling them is more, more fun. It takes care of the leaf blow already at 6 in the morning. Um, not. Certainly trying my best. Trying my best to save the planet. But another bubble already. <coughs> Hey, we don't like what we see. It's suspicious. What is? All of it. The profiles, the tasks, the chats. Too clean, pristine. What a wreck. Listen to us, Reaper, not the others. Yeah, yeah. Listen to me. To me! Shh! They're probably eavesdropping right now. Let's be off. Sure, okay, buddy. As you enter, the cat paces around the table, annoyed and irritated. <coughs> yeah, the cat notes who are casually turning around and just popping at the table. Um, take this. I'm doing well. Cat carefully stretches and shakes shelf more or less, please. The swift nod towards the door with her head makes it clear she'd be leaving. Certainly making my dues. Ah, perhaps she requires a delightful gift for a significant friend. And they. And off to work. Seven humans. Ooh. Postal clerk. G okay, Grim, yes, you listen up. Why are you such a tool sitting at your desk? All of those profiles, like my show, tried to break the rules. I want you to do all of the profiles, all to prove you're not completely useless. Sure. I want to listen to the ghost. Ghosty ghoul. God, everything's going down to flames. Yeah, it's still kind of recovering, which is ironic. Look at the march of death. Bones of the living, ground into dust. A dust storm that suffocates any remaining breaths. A fertilizer for the new. Ew. Come on, Grim. That's disgusting. Don't you think this whole business is remarkably dehumanizing? An uncaring office of eternal bureaucracy, picking and choosing lives. I'll give it that. What makes you think you're... know that they are getting it right? Throwing out innumerable rules and quotas with no oversight whatsoever. And... you think I should do something? We should. Shouldn't we? Let us know if you come eye to eye with a... solution. Be seeing you. Grim is there, yes? <laughs> meow meow, the cat grumbles at the phone when we Grim, I am most disappointed. I had hoped to avoid having this discussion a second time. Must I reiterate myself? You cannot mark every person to death. If too many perish, the results will be disastrous. It will undo the whole plan. What is the plan anyways? Grim, hello? Cassis. Why is there always a connection error at the most inopportune moment? I hope my words reach you, even if the reverse is not the case. Understand that this is not a path you wish to take. 
I will note this down as your second warning. There will not be many more. Good night, Grim. Gather your wits before you act. Cat glares at you. Check in, Mormon. Aye! This port offers the well, best trades in the bed. universe! Off to bed. And off to work again. Do your job with three humans. Law backgrounds. Not, okay, not law. Not law. Not law. Not law. Not law. Not law. Ah, so we live. Uh, so three of these. Um, email scammer. We don't have that. Likely, uh, defense contractor. Let's see if I'm, oh, God, I have to decide. I don't like this. It's so hard to choose. It's so hard to choose. Ahoy, matey! What can old Mortimer offer ye today? Cat seems to him slump occasionally, make soft like poor. Can't still believe it. Uh, how fluffy you are. <coughs> the cat mutters, annoying me through her snores. I just want to pet you, kitty cat. She lifts her head, stares fiercely, making it, making it seem like paying your view. One extremely bad idea. I don't care, I don't want to pet the cat, so cute. <laughs> Care Bears, indeed, they look incredibly sharp. Shove not the cloth here, any obscene material. I'm doing it, no one can stop me, reach out your hand. <laughs> Piss off the cat, boss the cat. Cat stands up, her back arch and tear flicks sharply back and forth. Squeak, the toy emits a shrill sound that cuts, cat cuts through everything. Oh, you weren't even touching the toy. Slowly, the cat rotates her head while continuing to stare right at you. It's almost looked like there's a ghostly mischievous grin on her face. Sluggishly and with a saying of your disgust, the cat sniffs at the usual pot of document doing at the table. The cat continues inspecting the documents for a few seconds until we see me please. Great, I'll be off now. <laughs> I want to double check more I forgot I forgot the price of the racer. It's two thousand. Well, off to bed I guess. And off to work again. Cute, real cute. Thanks, cat. Well, there's no profiles. Confirm your choices. Cat launches on the table, brushing her with her paw. Uh, you wouldn't know what happened to my files? Cat pauses for a moment and continues brushing yourself indifferent to your confusion. Did you do something with them? Before the cat has a chance to respond, the phone rings with an ear piercing attack clatter. You hear a familiar voice. Hello? Hello? Lady Poddington. Is Aww. Grim there? That's such a cute name. <coughs> the cat replies absentmindedly. Oh, goodness. Grim, I heard that. I understand the job can be stressful, that these decisions do not come lightly. 
but you cannot let everybody live. Such actions will have serious consequences, even if you cannot foresee them. That is what I am for. Trust me, it will be for the benefit of everyone. Something, Understood? Something happened to the files, they were gone. What? Could you repeat that? All I hear is static. The cat stole the files. No matter. You know what the job entails, Grim. I implore you to take it seriously. The world needs to stay in equilibrium. I do hope we will not have to repeat this discussion in the future. Think before you act. That is all. Real nice cat. Alas, the cat has already fallen asleep. She purrs softly content. Nothing else to do but leave. Guard you cat. Made me lose out of my pay. Avast ye! Pursue the finest booty you've ever seen. Ooh, two new people. Why, hello again. The den is always glad to see a returning customer. I'm glad you think so. Two weeks down and you're still kicking. Well done. Say, uh, see, I've been thinking and, uh, I was hoping you'd explain it to me, the, the process. I mean, how do you make the choices? How do you really decide who gets to live and who doesn't? Um... <laughs> I, I mean... I got a lamp that reveals relevant details is technically true. Really? That's your secret? Pretty much, got from Orbiter. That old trickster's got a whole bag of impossible trinkets, huh? I wonder where it came from. Can't be that common, else everyone would have one. Okay, then another question I've been pondering about the process. Do you think about the people after you've made the decision or do you forget all about them after it's done it's all abstract data to me by now heck that's bleak you've lost the connection with humanity it doesn't all of it make you uh, anxious sure makes me and i ain't even the one choosing yeah i don't think i can handle the pressure gazing upon the decision tree and how it branches out across infinity Across space and time. Anyway, this has been enlightening. Thanks for the answers. Anything I can get you? What's the deal with Lane Poynton? Fate's cat. She's an adorable furball, ain't she? Always skulking around in search of mischief. She sneaks down here, too. So I feed her a few morsels. I don't trust that cat. How could you not? Those big eyes, that fluffy fur. She's a real softy. It's nice she keeps fate company. Fate's archaic. All those aeons might not be good for the, you know, mentality. What else you got in mind? Uh, I keep hearing voices. That's so. Well, most of us hear voices a lot of the time. No, no, there's a voice in the mirror. Ah. Wait, wait, so you got a mirror that reflects back your own voice? No, it's some other voice. Hey, it's fine to talk to yourself. I'm sure it's rough at the office. Vocalizing's gotta help process the thoughts and feelings, uh. Or maybe it's your conscience trying to kick through the barrier. Becoming a Reaper ain't easy, so you haven't fully internalized the struggle, you're not happy with your work, or you sense something's off. But what do I know? I'm just a barkeep. So that makes me only half a therapist. Well, if someone contacted me using a profile... Oh? What did this mysterious entity want? Asked me to mark everyone t to death for one. And you following? Or what? Yeah, I wanted to see where this leads. Good on you for the curiosity. Shake up those boring days of yours, eh? <sighs> Elsewise, truth be told, I'm of little help. I don't know what goes around in the office, I just own the den. What else you got in mind? Sure, what's your poison? Cor <laughs> Corp survivor. <laughs> if you uh, value your sanity, you don't ever want to learn the ingredients of this cocktail. Goes best. Electrifying, a burst of liquid, liquid lightning blasts through your nervous system. If you had one, that is, but you don't. Every bone begins to vibrate. 
vibration builds in your feedback loop until you feel like you might shatter any moment, but it's a trick of mine and it's huge debates. I'll be going. Au revoir, Lil Reaper. Lil Reaper. I love the, like, southern accents. So who are you? <laughs> Accentuate the morphological field. Uh -oh. Some reclassification of the framing stratum. Ah, I should have known. <laughs> Scaffolding of the antediluvian complex. <laughs> oh, maybe. Ah. Uh, Meta-resonance trigger. It's you. I've seen you wobble around in the cellar somehow through the floor. An amazing feat, young spawnling. <laughs> oh, yes. That is I down in the depths. I am the prime curator of the Abysmal Archive. The archive of all existence. Or the bits I've managed to catalogue thus far. Did you know there is a lot of existence? I figured as much. More than you are able to conceive. Ah, yes, I see promise in you, Spawnling. So, let me tell you a secret. You see, the archive sprouts a mind eons ago, incomprehensible to most. Those were the days. We were so young then, Fate and I. Two strapping lads. There was little in the archive initially, but it didn't take long for it to start growing, expanding. Until? Until it achieved awareness of a sort, a consciousness, but not a kind you'll easily recognize and engage with. We couldn't foresee this happening, the awakening of the archive, its development into a unique organism. What does it want? Nothing much, as far as we can tell. It just exists, expands, endures. The three E's. What happens if the archive gets destroyed? I'm skeptical of this being at all possible. The archive has grown beyond imaginable boundaries. What could damage the animated embodiment of existence? It has to be something greater than the archive itself. Which even I must deem absurd. Awesome, I want to visit the archive. Alas, visitations are limited to professional archivists only. Ah, it calls to me, so I must return. I hope you enjoyed our talk. I can't talk to you again, unfortunately. Who are you, though? <sighs> yes? I'm spawn th number 38. What's your name? The name is Frank Whittle. Hang on, we don't have to be numbered spawns? Well, I used to be spawn number 142, but uh, well, sometimes you just wish you had a more memorable name. <laughs> well, I wanted to stand out more, <laughs> you know. And you chose the name, the name yourself? Oh, yes. No, I never get that considered that. Uh, actually, no, but I also want a corner. So pick one. What's stopping you? <sighs> So, what's going on? Do you know about the butterfly effect? Yes, of course. Well, what if... Well, what if I'm that butterfly? Hey, haphazardly fluttering around and, and then millions of souls perish in anguish. Are we really <laughs> freezing things, but sure. I don't want that on my conscience. I can't handle it. And that's... That's the least of my problems. Last week, someone put my stapler in a large jar of strawberry jelly. How did he get it out? Well, well, I panicked. I tried to eat the stapler to freedom. Oh, that went as badly as you can imagine. I chipped a tooth. Some of my bones still stick together. <laughs> and that's still not all of it. Last month, I had to work in the dog department. But I love dogs. <laughs> No, not the dogs. I know, right? And the people in the dog department, the absolute bad apples. I was scared for the afterlife. I was. But you know, before that, 
Someone filled my room with balloons. Hang on, is someone just picking on you? Yes, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I have an inkling it's the one they call Lance Thrasher. Don't worry, the name's not as cool as Frank Whittle. <laughs> oh, thanks. I guess I needed that. But other people, oh, they just keep telling me how great Lance Thrasher is. How fun they are to hang out with. How awesome they are. How amazing. How they tell the best jokes and get into the craziest shenanigans. But they, um, they immediately sound exhausting. Yes, right? I don't get it either. So I thought I had to let them know. I walked straight over to Lance and I told them that I don't find them riveting and I don't particularly care about their lame jokes. Last Lancer must have been devastated. But then Lance just said, keep it real, and then went on to do a handstand on their desk. Everyone in the office started chanting their name. Lance, 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 Lance. What an absolute tool. After this, they started making my life miserable. Tense. I... Why do you... That's intense. I totally feel better about my problems now. So, problem solver. What do you think? What should I do? Um... Let's see... Well, if they try and get back Atlanta, it's just gonna get worse. But you do seem to be the source of your own problem. Well, you can't stoop to their level. You must be the one to balance it. Uh, I guess you're right. I am Frank Whittle, after all. I must stay true to myself. Still, I will leave a strongly worded note on their desk expressing my discontent. I'll start working on it right away. <laughs> Thanks. Again? What can I get you? Tell me about the archivist. The prime curator of the archive, you mean? They work down in the cellar, below Mortimer. I haven't met anyone so enamored with structure and organizations before, but I guess it comes with the territory. You two ought to get along fine. Heck, just bond over the equilibrium and standardizations and the like. Maybe you should eventually apply for an archive job instead. Absolutely. Nah, no, I'm kidding. I don't think it works like that. The abysmal archive is a wild land, and not easy to enter. What else you got in mind? Sure, what's your poison? Bloody gear. Can't go wrong with the bloody classic. It'll kickstart your recovery from any slump. Okay, it's best. As it seemingly attacks, taste hits you, it hits at the usage of real blood, but in truth, it's just tomato juice. The drink has a sharp, properly under your pepper under your tongue. Uh, still, every sip makes you feel secure as if you're sick and from a nightmare to find yourself at home basking warm morning raising Sure! Stations. What's your poison? Eat of death in the universe of iced coffee. Guaranteed to keep you energized until the last ever star in the universe blinks out of existence. The sweet and icy overtones of the mixtures block out the bitter earthy turns of the coffee. Be honest, coffee really does taste like dirt. Yet the frozen cubes clink your teeth. The old devil feels distinguished and hip at the same time, just like the end of the universe. Au revoir, little reaper. Little reaper. <laughs> and I already talked to the boss, so I'll end the day. Back from our booty, are ye? <laughs> well, I suppose I should get to work again. Five humans transport. Ooh. Oh, she is for Rosalind, born to Grim. Listen to me, so I took so long, you made the choice and got censored for it, but I had to test you to know if you had what it takes. I won't ask anything that big again, but ask for your trust for a small acts of fun. So you should let this one live to sink into fate to world show lies beneath. Sure. Well, up 
left side of the profile bundle has to die. So... graduation of these uh, previous work experience well uh, well the only way to get work is to have experience best is solver What did I tell you? Well, I, you told me what? The others, conspiring behind your back. You saw the result. I think it was the cat? They waited for you to let the guard down, whispering, Look, it's the pathetic runt. What do you know? Tell me. They'll make you fail, and get you fired. Or are you deliberately trying to fail? That's devious. Keep them guessing, and watch your back, Reaper. Hello, Fates. I have returned. Did you miss me? Sure, I like a lot of chats. Great. I am glad you enjoy our frequent discourse. So, okay, yes. Today is your two-week performance evaluation. But before that, we must quickly check your daily conduct. Hmm, where did I place those papers, please? Where are you? Ah, here we go. Right, seems to be correct, or whatever. Let us proceed to the more important evaluation. Hmm. Is there a problem? No, I would not say that. In essence, you are a solid and dedicated worker. You play by the book. You do what you are told. There is little to criticize in your conduct, except perhaps for the minor lack of independence. Continue, sir. One might expect at least an inkling of rebellion. Does an autonomous personality hide anywhere within your skull? You are dependable, faithful, trusted. Is that all you are content with? Now, obviously you are to be granted a small bonus. No one can argue you have not earned it. Keep it up. The ultimate evaluation is in two weeks. Hey, hey, Grimmy! Pleased to see you again. Not much else happening on this quiet Sunday, though, so I appreciate you dropping in. What's on your mind? Sure, what's your poison? The usual place. One borehole coming right up! Wait. Before it tastes as before, smooth rolling waves have raised into place in place of alabaster. Feels a little bit special this time around, although still delectable. Sure, what's your poison? I'll take... Ah, Din and Terra. For this, you really gotta distill the spirits well in order to achieve flawless flavor. Goose Beth. 
case that she within the scribble. It has an eerie ethereal that blends in with exceedingly high net worth. Underlying the mixture, you sense an ambiguous poor scratch. The whole experience sends you shiver down your spine. Take sure, a what's your poison? Milk, please. Ah, uh, going straight edge. I get where you're coming from. Go up as. Tastes like milk. You go Au revoir, little reaper. This one here. I hope you guys have a good day, night, week, or month of your lives, and may the stars forever guide your path wherever they might lead you into the future. Bye bye, everybody.